balance working. Should have a custom one. Seems they have some new profile things. You can't go all the way like you used to. Okay, it's gonna take me a while to figure this out. How to fix the white balance? Yes. Okay, don't matter. Let's open up the DNG converter. So we're gonna open up our image. Temperature, lower it all the way. Guess we'll see zero. Hi. We're just uh, trying to create a new infrared profile because this is an old camera.
let's see. Okay, pictures, yes. Why does it not let me save there? Okay, so we have our new profile. Isn't there like a way to add profiles to Adobe? Import profiles. What? I'm pretty sure I just made a profile right now. got an infrared profile right here. The infrared profile. <clears throat> so where did my profile go? I imported a profile, right? Like, I'm pretty sure I just... Import profile, import profile... What? Oh man, Adobe's being a butt. Okay, I'm gonna restart this because I'm 100% sure I imported a profile for editing infrared. Hey, I'm trying to edit some infrared pictures, but Adobe is being Adobe about it even if I open it over here let me try again I'll bring my DNG image Yeah, here's uh, Adobe Profiles, Browse Profiles, uh, Manage Profiles, Legacy. Okay, let's see if that works. No. Okay. Infrared black and white. Okay, why is infrared black and white here but not regular infrared? Matching. Nope. Profiles. Infrared. Okay. Hey, it did work. Welcome, Alex. Okay, but I want this to work in Lightroom, not Photoshop. So I don't understand why I had to restart Photoshop for that to work. Like, why didn't it work before? Because it's not a preset or anything. It's supposed to do it okay let's try this one more time man that's annoying oh here it is profile very weird but it worked so it's fine Not very colorful though. This is my old infrared camera though. 
So that took longer than I thought. Maybe I should make an updated video on that kind of thing. Because I can see how that would give people trouble. I think a few people have asked me about it too. Okay. Yeah, you can play around with infrared as make all kinds of colors. How did I get from that to this? Because this... Oh wait, I remember. Alright, okay. It's been a while since I did this. Now edit in Photoshop. You can use this with any camera. See, so yeah, I went to image adjustments. It's been a while since I had to do this channel mixer. Red goes to zero, blue goes to 100. And then I go to blue, red goes to 100, blue goes to zero. Aha! Yeah, I'm gonna have to make an updated video about this because the whole um, Adobe profile thing got me stuck. Yeah, I haven't done this in a long time because uh, I have a full spectrum camera that I don't need to do this, but this is like old photos from, I don't know when. Um, infrared photos. Yeah, this one's 2018. And then we can edit normally. I'll start with the skies, because a little too emerald for me. Prefer them a little bit more blue. And that's how you infrared. You can play around with this however you want. I kind of like the orange though. Let's take a brush. Very nice. Maybe for the sky too. And that's a uh, infrared picture. Oh, this is, um, yeah, this is without a filter. Oh, wait, was this with filter? Without a filter? Uh, this camera. This camera was converted to 590 nanometers and uh, you still have to do the Photoshop stuff. You don't need a filter for this converted camera. But if you were using the Hoya R72 filter, you would do the same thing I just did. The only difference between using a filter and a converted camera is that the converted camera can take Exposure is like a regular camera, it doesn't need long exposure. But if you use a full spectrum camera, which I use now, you can skip the Photoshop step. I hope that kind of helps. Maybe. Okay, not DNG. Go back to JPEG. Yeah, I'll make a video about this. These are 
already ended. Okay. Let's do it all again. So, if you use the Hoya R72 filter, it will look something like this. Oh. Yeah. It should look something like that because you need to create you need to create a profile. So, I'm going to guide you step by step everything I did. You open up your picture in Lightroom like this. Wait, it's going to be mine it's going to be much more red than this, you know, just red or blue. Mine's just blue, but it should be kind of red. Something like that, right? Maybe even more red than that like this. All right, so you open up your picture in Lightroom. You are going to... First, you're going to lower the temperature all the way. No, wait, not lower temperature. You're going to try to take white balance off, like a cloud or the ground or something like that. Yeah, I get it. Okay, let's just start from deep red. You're going to go to export. You're going to export a DNG file, like this, right? So you export that, all right. Then you're going to download the DNG editor, right, from Adobe. Just uh, Adobe DNG editor. Should come out like right here. And uh, yeah, what is it? Yeah, I think it's this one. But I'm just gonna give you the pro the link right now, so you don't lose it. Okay, you got that. You download that right here. Okay, then you're going to open it. You should have this program called Adobe DNG Profile Editor. Very nice. So, you go to open the DNG image that you just made. Your very, very red picture, right here. Open. You're gonna come here to the color matrices. And you're gonna lower the temperature all the way. As far as it goes. Just like that options we name it for it then once you have this go to export uh, profile as infrared save it wherever you want wherever you want like that export it successfully now, you can close this. Yeah, let's see. You're going to come back to Lightroom. You're going to look for... Uh, you're going to come here to the profiles, right? And you're going to go to Browse. You don't have it imported yet, so just go to the little plus sign over here. It says import profiles and then click on your profile and import but as we just learned right now even if you do that it's not gonna appear right away for some reason so you're gonna close Adobe Lightroom you're gonna open it again so let's wait for Adobe Lightroom to do its Adobe Lightroom things please open up Oh my gosh. Why today? No. Okay, there we go. Yes. You only gotta do this step once, by the way. You don't gotta do it again. But you gotta do it for every camera you use the filter with, so each camera is a little different. Okay, so now you come to your red picture. You browse the profiles it should be under profile 
Wait a minute, where is it? Not favorites, not raw, not camera matching, right here. It should be under profiles. You click on the infrared profile you just made. And then you should be able to cool the picture even more. Okay, now you're done with this. You have to invert the colors. So, you know, edit in Photoshop, or you can save this picture and X onto the desktop and then open it in Photoshop. It's up to you. Edit in Photoshop. Like that. When you go here, you go to Image, Adjustments, Channel Mixer. Go to the red channel, change, you gotta switch the red and the blue channel. So you're gonna go to 0%, and in the blue channel, you're gonna go to 100%. And you go to blue channel, it's 100%, and blue becomes 0%. Uh, you can use some other editing program that has a channel mixer. Well, you can just leave it like this if you want, but if you want those other colors, you need to invert. Uh, yeah, you gotta invert the, pro the colors like this. So when that's... Actually, you don't even have to do this. You just play around with the colors and do whatever you want, you know. It's, it's really a matter of taste. Whatever people like. Was it like this? I forgot. Yeah. Zero, one hundred. Wait, what is it? Then you click save. Save. Yeah, I think you can use some free softwares that do this kind of thing. Uh, I don't know what people use, but they are. They should be something that has a channel mixer option. Then you come here and you can edit like normal. Just like that. And I'm definitely going to make an updated tutorial on that because uh, it took me a lot of, took, it was a lot of trouble doing that. More trouble than I expected. When you edit infrared pictures, yeah, check it out. Uh, you should increase the contrast in infrared photos because infrared pictures actually reduce the contrast quite a bit. And then you can just play with the colors however you like. You know, I like coming to the split tone to give it a little bit more color because, especially when you have a 500 night. 720 nanometer filter is going to be very, not very colorful, not like this, this is 590, so yours is not going to look like this at all, yours is going to be a little bit more, uh, less, a little bit less saturated than this, so yeah, this is the old filter, okay, Increase the vibrance a little bit. Nice. So, oh, cool, we got same people watching. Now let's uh, keep going. Actually, none of these pictures are really sticking out for me. They're not that impressive. That's okay, these are from 2018. Oh, you can't use a different filter for regular camera. You can only use a 720, maybe a 900. 590 only works on converted cameras and on full spectrum cameras. So basically you, got, you can only use 720 for you. Yeah, these are okay. Uh, browse, but you gotta go back to Photoshop and do the the thing. What's this?
Oh, but I have a... Complete guide to infrared. Right here. If anyone's interested. But I will make a, a new one for the editing stuff. I'm going to skip this one because that. Yeah, I got a lot of photos are just kind of not that good. This is why I upgraded to a full spectrum camera so I could skip all that work. This one might be good. See how it changes just by using the profile? Okay, let's see. I don't want to overexpose because don't mess up the highlights. It's very unforgiving when it comes to infrared. Channel mixer, and I think I have a profile already. No, I don't. I thought I did. Okay, I'll make a new profile. Zero, 100, Reddit. 100, 0. I'm going to save this. So I should have this image, which I'll save. Come over here. Yeah, these are my old school infrared pictures. It's not very nice when you shoot them like when the sun's going down. You gotta shoot these when the sun's at its peak to get the maximum effect. This is probably as good as it's gonna get. Okay, it's a little bit better. But yeah, infrared creates some real surreal stuff, which is part of the reason I like it. Export this. And yeah, I'll switch it from DNG back to JPEG. So, good stuff. I want to erase these photos. Because I own the Adobe software. So therefore I use it. Actually my wife's a graphic designer so she uses it. I use it. So it's a good pay. It's a good investment you know, if all of us are using it. But please don't come out and say so and so is better because they're all the same, you know. I don't know. Software isn't going to make you better. I get a lot of people who are like, you should be using Darkroom, blah, 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 or DaVinci Resolve, or I forgot whatever stuff people are using these days, but you no, know, it's just editing software, it doesn't really matter. So, this is regular infrared camera. Converted, converted infrared camera. Full spectrum is much better than this. With full spectrum you get a little bit more color. Which is one of the reasons I switched to it. Yeah, but I like... I get a teacher's discount so I pay... 50% uh, 
for the entire suite. So I get all the Adobe programs, I get a portfolio, my website, Adobe stock, all that stuff, and I pay 20 bucks a month. And my wife can use it for her work too. So it's a very good uh, deal for me. But, you know, I could use any software and do the same thing. It doesn't matter so much. But when it comes to infrared, you probably do need Adobe. I heard Capture One can do it too. But, uh, as you can see, these are like, you flare very easily with the uh, infrared camera. You gotta be very careful. Yeah, most of these photos suck. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Well, they are kind of cool. I remember I took this picture and I didn't like it so much, but a lot there's a lot of people who actually do like it. So surprise. It, it has its charm and export it. So right now I'm just going back and editing old photos, keeping the good ones. These are not so good, but it's okay. This one might be good. Let's see, here's our infrared profile. We're gonna white balance on the ground, I think. Now we have this image, we'll take it to Photoshop. We're gonna invert the channels of the channel mixer. I got my profile ready. Voila. If you're using the Hoy R72 filter, you need to do all of this, by the way. Or you don't. You know, some people... Actually, I see a lot of YouTubers who try to do infrared photography and they make a guide, but they just leave their pictures like all red and stuff. Like, they don't bother to do the channel mixer thing or anything. Makes me mad. Yeah, a little bit of color back. And that uh, looks nice, very surreal. I like it very much. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? Every now and then I'll take a decent photo. Well, I'm sure they can. I mean, a lot of them have it. But I'll, I guess they just think of the quick videos. They don't think to do things properly. Oh, this is nice. But you have the flare, which... Uh, Unfortunately, this is what happens when you use uh, the filter. Well, actually, no, it's not even the filter's fault. It's it's just when you shoot infrared, you flare up very quickly. I think I like this one more. I'm not sure. All right, let's see. How this looks. I think I overexpose this picture. It's gonna be a problem. No, I I told people I'm not I don't do that stuff, you know. 
I don't I don't want fans you know what I mean I don't want to be seen as an influencer or a youtuber I want people to like my pictures I don't want them to I don't want me to be the face of my photography if that makes what I, if you understand what I mean you know and also I think if you're gonna do critiques you need to be someone who actually studied photography and know what they're doing maybe someone working in a museum because you got all these people just doing these critiques they don't know what they're talking about just because they've been a photographer for like two or three years and uh, I don't want to be like that you know just I don't want people to come to me for advice because they can my advice is as good as the next person's basically that's why I don't like doing that stuff I insist they should go to someone who knows what they're doing much better okay this did not come out good <laughs> yeah well it's not bad it's just got the flair could be artistic there we go But yeah, that's uh, that's why I don't do critiques and stuff like that. I made a video about it, actually. Okay, I think I made a copy of this folder already. Not sure. Yeah, it does, right? I mean, I like it because there's a cat there. But actually, I like this spot very much. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I have photos better than this one. So we're just going to keep looking now. Usually I would delete everything in the raw files. But I, I don't... No, I think I did make a backup of these pictures already. So I think I'm going to do that right now. Just delete the raw files. No, wait. Never mind. I'll just check later. No, I'm 100% sure I already made a copy about them. Okay, don't do this, guys. This is just me. I already moved these files to an external hard drive and I need to make space so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the folder alright just don't do that just it's a me thing it's a not a you thing it's a me thing there we go and if I didn't well I already made copies of the pictures I wanted anyways yeah okay this is from 2018 actually let me show you the difference between a converted infrared camera which I'm using right now in the these pictures versus a full spectrum camera which is what I have now you can see that actually I can skip the entire Photoshop step if you have a converted full spectrum camera so this is one of the reasons I switched to full spectrum also you get a little bit more color than uh, with regular infrared one of, the, one of the best things about it this is a picture I really because it reminds me of an infrared reminds me of like an anime picture Of course it just looks kind of like a boring building but to me that's what I like actually I didn't have to do that yeah I keep trying to edit these the same way I edit my night pictures which is not good so as you can see I just skipped the um, the Photoshop step I didn't have to do any channel mixers I didn't have to do any profiles the picture just came out exactly the way uh, you take a regular photo which is a huge plus I just gonna mess with the colors a little bit I wanna make the skies a little bit more somewhat natural-ish and uh, I think this would look good in orange maybe like an orange color 
or pinkish. Just like that. Actually, maybe I can go here to the uh, primary calibration. Play with it a little bit more. Like that. So I hope this convinces someone to switch to full spectrum camera. <laughs> There we go. Shooting infrared, you tend to lose contrast, so I increase it a little bit. We'll leave it like this. Export. these aren't bad these are okay some of these are already edited or is it doesn't it looks edited but it's not okay increase the vibrance see you get a few more colors when you shoot a full spectrum not that much more just a little bit more You know it's cheaper to buy a an old converted camera than to buy to have one converted already, you know. If you go to like eBay or something, people are always saying them. Trust me, it's cheaper to just buy a used one. Not these. People spend their money on. I just go to the uh, sort by price. Why does it look like this? Lowest price. See, there you go. Oh, wait, is this infrared? No, it's not. Here we go. D70 converted. This one's to 720, not very colorful, not what you want. Here's what you, here's what you want. 590 Goldie converted already. Yeah, because people, they become very enthusiastic and they're like, I'm gonna convert my camera. They'll shoot for it with it for like a day and then they get tired of it and then they have a converted camera that they don't know how to use. So then they just sell it for less. One second. But what you can do is uh, just search for point and shoot. Yeah, here you go. Wait, is is this right? I don't know. Anyways, point and shoot infrared cameras are quite cheap. You should be able to find one. Okay, not these. These are kind of expensive. Whoa. There should be an option that lets you choose by price. Anyways, you get the idea. Let's continue. Oh, that's weird. I kind of like this orangish color you can push the colors further here in the calibration you know it's fun to play with infrared and you can make all kinds of combinations Sky is a little dark. Let's brighten it up.
I like the lobster. I don't see anything spectacular. Like every now and then I'll take a good infrared photo. Most of the time you're just kind of meh. I posted one of these on uh, Instagram. I think I'll leave the way it was. By the way, I'm using the music you gave me. Um, I don't watch him. And he's not, he's more like a videographer than a photographer, you know? He hasn't made a photography video since like the beginning. He made like a few and then after that he never made them again. But. He does review the gear, he just doesn't do anything about photography. Yeah, but his pictures are like very Instagram-y, you know what I mean? Like they're very Instagram influencer style, which is, it's like, it's what you do. I guess you can say it's a cheap and easy way to get lots of views and likes and stuff. Like he, he does the popular stuff because he know, he knows that's what most people are looking for. You know what I mean? I mean, you got you got to hustle, I guess. But yeah, I like this kind of pastel color look. Yeah, I mean, uh, nothing against him. No, he's just trying to make a living. But it's just kind of appealing to the masses, kind of tactic. You know what I mean? And that's what I think. All right. This is nice. This is very pastel. I like it. Very soft. We're stumbling across some good images today. Actually, let me just try copy and paste it. <laughs> Save some time if I can. Okay, not this one. Oh yeah, this was uh, when this is around May. Yeah, it's like my first time I stepped out from the pandemic or something. These are kind of nice. I don't know, it's a little... Maybe it's just the sky's a little too dark. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah. I hope I didn't lose any subscribers for giving my honest opinion <laughs> of him, you know, because that's always a problem. Like, I try to avoid any negative, negative-ish things about others, but, yeah. Let's see, go 
back to white. This is very soft also, I like it. Maybe if I add like a touch of purple. But yeah, if you all are listening in chat, I would love to hear your thoughts. We got 12 viewers. Thank you for not abandoning me. <laughs> you know, I try to keep it real. That's the whole point of my channel. So nobody was doing the things I wanted to see. So I started making my own. I would like there to be a little bit more blue, but there isn't any blue, so we're gonna color it in. You know. Just a little bit. Corners and the edges. Very slight change. I don't think I've ever seen any other photographers here on YouTube actually use the color thing. You know, like no one else does it, but it's there, so you should use it. Thank you. You know, I. It always worries me though if I'm a little too honest, but uh, I do have a reputation for not holding back my opinions and. I tend to call out people on their BS a lot. You know, I like this picture. So, so usually I just avoid people like... It's easier if I just uh, don't associate with people and just kind of keep to myself and do my own thing. But yeah, I wish people uh, didn't try to treat me like an influencer or or seek advice from me because I'm just some guy that happens to take photos you know it's not qualified to give any advice well, maybe they'll come but the quality of subscriber is very important uh, you know my channel is quite small but all of the people that watch my videos are very respectful of each other and they're very kind and we tend to help each other you know when you have the question and i think part of the reason is because i don't do the popular subjects or popular kinds of videos that attract all the trolls and stuff like that so it would be easy for me to make a video like top 10 tricks increase your photography or whatever and but that would attract the the bad kind of viewer you know. yeah some of these would be quite nice in one plus in one by one uh, if you see one that you think would look good let me know let's just mess around maybe a little bit more like this Yeah. But yeah, as I was saying, if I were to do those uh, kind of videos that appeal to the masses and clickbait, then you would get a lot of unwanted attention. Uh, that's also one of the reasons. I don't talk about gear. Oh, sometimes I talk about vintage lenses, but let's see. The image, the image back one with large format will work in one by one, I think. Yeah, let's check it out. This one, right? See, here's the thing. Uh, people are always asking me about gear, but it's not just that I don't like talking about it. But I know if I start talking about gear you're gonna start to get all the people that are fighting over the gear you know what I mean like yeah you'll get like a ton of views but you're gonna attract the wrong kind of person to the channel 
and I don't want to do that. Yeah, this is quite nice. I'm gonna save it. Save as a copy. I'm not gonna replace the other one. Okay. Use unique names. Um, actually, there's a picture I wanna take. Because you know I take a lot of anime style photos. And there's a anime scene. Um, that looks something like this. Yeah. I want to take a picture like this. You know, like at a beach. Actually, this is one of the places I want to visit. Next time I visit Japan. If I can take this kind of train scene how I can die a happy person this is my goal <laughs> yeah so I want to take this kind of picture because it came out in many anime movies and animations and I want to edit it in my style so there's a map right here how far away is it from Tokyo okay not that far I can do it next time I've gone as far as Yokohama, so I can just take a, keep going right there. But I want to take these kind of pictures and then edit them in my anime style. Um, but yeah. You know all the, all the YouTubers tend to go to Iceland or something and make videos about Iceland. But nobody does stuff like this, you know, it's just me. <laughs> it's like, hey, where are you going? I'm going to Japan. I'm going to go find the train scene from Slam Dunk. No one else does that kind of stuff. I went here. You know, I this is a real place. And I went there and I took the photo in infrared. In fact, my picture is right here. You don't believe me? I'll show you. Posted by NOE AOZ. I took a picture in infrared of an anime train crossing in Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> How cool is that? You know. Not very popular, but I love this photo. You know, I wish people... I wish people cared more about photography as an art, and not so much photography as gear. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, that's not gonna happen, you know. We're gonna stay cool, we're gonna stay a small channel, basically. But yeah, it's okay because we like doing this kind of stuff. I made a video about it too, in case you're interested. Let me show you the whole thing. Uh, here it is. I showed how I got there and what I took and everything. I would click it, but I'm pretty sure I'll get a copyright strike by myself because YouTube does like that, you know? <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to it. This is actually quite nice too. Actually, I remember the reason I'm editing these pictures is because there's one specific photo I'm looking for. We're gonna have to go and find it right now. Yeah. Let's see. I took these pictures as the sun was going down, so infrared is best when you take it like in the middle of the day like you know how photographers always say don't shoot in the middle of the day you get harsh shadows it's the worst time to shoot blah blah yeah but when it comes to infrared photography you want to shoot in the middle of the day it's, it's like you gotta unthink everything you've learned about photography when it comes to infrared yeah Forget everything you know about light. Does not apply.
these pictures are all very nice. Try to give it up settings, please. Oh, nice. I like that. Kind of looks like an anime scene already. You know, that's not what I was going for. But it does. You know, something I do, which I guess a lot of people will look down upon, is I like to increase the luminous all the way because it makes the pictures look like a painting. Look, example, no luminance, luminance all the way. It's a little technique that I came up with. First on YouTube, to come up with this, voila. Oh, you don't have to worry about focus recalibration with uh, full spectrum cameras. Uh, because what you see in the viewfinder or what you see, what your DSLR sees uh, with the focusing is what you get. So yeah, man, this is a real good photo. Well, according to me, you know, it's like, the kind of pictures I like are not exactly the, the kind of pictures that other people like. Why you don't use a MacBook? Because it's overly priced, expensive, and I like playing games, and uh, most games don't work on Macs. I'm going to use the Uke name. This is really cool. This could be a print. But yeah, Windows or Mac, it doesn't really matter, you know. All that fighting about which gear you use, or which laptops, or which cameras, is just not important. There was something I wanted to show you. Everyone here watching, um, you can actually get a very cheap infrared camera converted. Now I'm not, I don't do this very often because I don't like giving any, uh, I don't like giving any company anything, but they're the only company that does this. So Colari Vision actually sells really cheap point and shoot cameras. And I'm not gonna give you a um, affiliate link or anything else. I'm just letting you know about it because I'm not getting any money out of it. But they sell uh, full spectrum converted point and shoot cameras. They're very cheap cameras, but they take the photos, you know. And they tend they come with the filters and everything that you can change around. 590, 720. And a hot mirror filter, which helps you take regular photos again. I think it's like 270 bucks or something. Yeah, I will get like the. Um, we'll get whatever you want. You know, but basically, this is what they sell. They're the only camera companies that does it. And if you want to get into infrared photography on the cheap, then that's what I would use. Uh, or buy a used one on eBay or something, but Anyways, I'm just letting you know and I, I Don't like doing this kind of thing, you know, I already told you But uh, they're the only ones to do it. So There you go Man, this one's good too. Jeez Did I never edit these photos or something? What's going on? Yeah. I'm gonna export this. Uh, nope. I have not. Although I have friends who use it. I like pictures that look different. This looks different, but it doesn't quite 
something's missing, basically. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I just like to uh, mess around with the the aspect ratios and just see what you get, you know. Not your typical stuff, but still. Oh, these are shot with the full spectrum camera, so uh, the the editing is actually very minimal. You know, the other the other ones are shot with a uh, 500 nano 500 nanometer infrared camera, so you have to use Photoshop and all that. But these are a full spectrum camera, which is using a 500 nanometer filter. So what you see when you take the camera is what you get. It's one of the benefits of infrared, I mean of full spectrum versus infrared. Yeah, but I don't want to confuse you all with all this stuff, so you can check the infrared guide I made. It's a little better. Ooh, this is pretty. Imagine if the other YouTubers who made videos about infrared actually edited the pictures. <laughs> you know what I mean? If they knew the potential. I think this one's cool. I mean, I don't like cars in my photos, usually, unless it's like one of these trucks. But the picture looks different enough that uh, it looks kind of cool. Why is this guy walking around with a, without a shirt? Never mind, it looked like that. Actually, somebody asked me for a picture like this. Yeah, there's a photo with the person with the umbrella, uh, which is not very common in the daytime, actually, but. Wait, give me a second. I need to check with one of the people I'm collabing with. Give me a second. Uh, where are you? Yeah, it was really good. Let's go back to the umbrella one. Like generally, um, I like my people to be a little bit further away when I take the photo. Like this one or that one. Let's try both. I think this one's better, right? <laughs> One second, I gotta check something outside. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, this one looks good. Square. Good to edit with y'all because uh, even I miss stuff. Should I cut this off or that off? I think it's going to go like this. Or, one second. Gotta use the magic button. 
upright. Now we can do the square. Should we make her fit into the root of thirds? <laughs> kind of like the door though. This or this. I guess this one kind of looks better, doesn't it? Left, all the way to the left. Leave out the pole. Let me know, chat. I'm relying on you guys. Actually, this might be like a good Instagram picture. This one, right? I don't know. Don't like this thing sticking out. Hmm. So, you guys like this one? Alright, we're gonna do a little cheating. Which I don't do very often, but... Why not? We're gonna do uh, this thing, whatever it's called, fountain wear. Yeah, does it work? Please work. Yeah, nice. Only because it's really bothering me. And that's about as much Photoshop as I ever do, except for the, uh, the, what's it called? The channel mixer. Yeah, all in days work. Man, I almost mixed that, mixed that photo too. Thank you for that. Here we go. I'm going to export uh, one of these. And then I'm going to export a whole page one also, just because I like having both. One of each. Yeah. Shoot long enough, this stuff becomes natural to you. But yeah, this one's cool. But if it wasn't for the people. As you guys can tell, I don't like people much. In <laughs> my photos. Or cars, I don't like cars either. with all these pictures why are they all so good why is every photo gonna be so nice I don't, I don't think I need to edit much it's actually pretty cool I wonder the square would work here or oh, you gotta go okay have a good one thank you for joining Let's just see what this looks like, just for, just for, for sakes. Okay, let's just see. Yeah, not bad. Alright, just looking. Okay, I'm gonna export that one. You think so, right, this thing? But it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave that in there. I have the, the large file exported, so... I can always go back later and cut it off again. No 
Kali. This is okay, but let's try one put one by one. <laughs> one by one. Kind of like the number though. Something's off. Yeah, the tones are, they all keep changing depending on the lighting. I remember I liked this picture a lot. It's one of the photos I liked. Yeah, anyways. Let's see. A little too bright though. Maybe I'll lower. I think it was a washing machine. But yeah, I like this. I don't like the car. It kind of ruins the mood for me. But that guy was parked there for a long time. I remember waiting. Unless, one by one. I don't want to cut everything else off though. But it still bothers me even more. Yeah, this is quite nice. Um, The colors a little bit, a little bit of more orange would be nice. And other than that, I like it. Sometimes you don't even have to edit the photos that much; it's just they come out quite unique. I think I remember her. Oh yeah, the mask. I was live streaming this day, I remember now. We live streamed this shot. These pictures are not spectacular. I like this, but I remember it was shooting like in the middle of the light, so it's kind of... Oof, yeah. Something like that. I don't like the global contrast, so I'm gonna go in there with a uh, brush. Just the areas I want. Oops, uh, oops, got to uh, remove that color. Okay. Contrast only where I want it. Just like that. I kind of like the empty space though. But yeah, let's try it out and see what it looks like. Mm. I feel like that tree has to be there. Yeah. 
yeah, that works. But this time I want the uh, the negative space in the photo to balance it out. I don't like talking like that. It makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, I just like the way it looks. This is saying the apartment is monthly payments. I like these greedy old streets. These are very unique things, you know. Uh, these are the kind of things I like taking photos of. I just like the way this looks. I mean, it's not a good photo, it's just... I just like the feeling of it. This one's kind of cool. Probably not export worthy, but... Just to explore parts of the city... These are the kind of things I will show people, you know. I'm not gonna edit it, just gonna export it. These are just like, probably for like Patreon. I think, I think they'll like it. Oh, this one's even better. Like these rundown parts of the city, like my favorite. People think it's the neon lights and stuff. It's actually these old places like this that I like the most. Got a church and everything in the back. I don't know how this is going to look. Mine, that looks good too. Jeez. Well, subjectively good, right? What I like and what other people like is not the same thing. Yeah. It's all good. This is nice. It makes me peaceful just watching it. Actually, I've been thinking about buying a different filter for the full spectrum camera, the one with the red color. But I think I can just edit the red color in uh, Photoshop. It would save me money. Because I'm poor. YouTube don't pay me. Instead, they give me copyright strikes. This one's okay, but... No, actually it is pretty okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Not spectacular, but it's interesting to look at. This is Dong the Moon. I've shot here many times. All the time. Um, I would like it, but I don't like all this space right here, to be honest. It's not a bad picture, it's just not, not amazing. Actually, I was looking for a picture just like this. But, I need more pink in the photo. That was the whole point of it. I'm gonna take it out anyways. Is this crop?
they asked me for a whole picture of the street, but let's try that one by one. No. Or maybe yes. I don't know. I think white is good here. Actually, I guess I should just... Yeah, I don't know if I like this or not. I do and I don't, but I think I'm steering to... I don't like it enough. But I need one like this, but a little bit wider. I don't remember if I took one that wide. No, it looks like I didn't. I usually do it though, that's, that's the thing, I usually have, this one's a little wider. They wanted a picture like this, but showing the entire street, which I have here. But the editing's different. Let's see if I can uh, recreate this editing I did over here. Which I probably can't. So I don't always remember what I did. Let's see. Don't you hate it when you just don't remember the way you edited a photo in the past? <laughs> you know, how did I do this? I don't remember. It looks unsaturated. Um, yeah, it's not gonna work. Oh, I think I know. But the clouds really make this picture and the other picture doesn't have clouds like this. again I think the blue is a little different over here hi nice to see you again welcome to the chats uh, one second I gotta find I think it's starting to look closer to what we have over here. A little bit. I think the secret is in the contrast. Gotta get rid of that contrast. And increase the tone. Okay, it looks a little bit more like it. Slightly. Okay, I think that's about as close as I'm going to get it to the original. I'm going to export it. And I'm going to send them the picture. My friends. Leave 
is that? Yeah, these are infrared pictures. Or full spectrum. Oh yeah, I missed good stuff all the time. But that's the that's the point of going back and editing these. Try to miss less good stuff. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. There are some good, nice things in there. But, you know, I'm going back and editing every photo all over again. Because uh, I want these in a book someday. Oh yeah, but this is, uh, where's that? These are the Buddhist signals. Buddhist symbol, right? The Nazi symbol goes the other way around. I don't even know if I spelled it right. How, how Nazis twisted that swastika symbol Buddha into an emblem of hate, yeah. I don't know. There's some kind of... Yeah, one spins one way, one spins the other way. There you go. But other people don't know that, you know. I'm going over this because I know many people don't actually know the difference between these two. So some people come to Korea and they're like, oh my god, there's Nazi symbols everywhere. It's not, it's just different. Oh yeah, I think in Thailand there's like a Nazi club. They even have parades and stuff. So yeah, there it is. Ingrain this in your mind, everyone else. So let's keep going. Got those pictures. I'm gonna keep this one too. Man, such a nice place. But it's really the clouds that make this photo. Without the clouds, it's not the same. And we're, we're barely halfway on this folder. But I think the sun is going down so the pictures get worse as the sun goes down. Jeez. Got the club of old ladies. These clouds really change the pictures. These are good pictures. I mean, I don't know if they're good enough for a book, but. Exploring the city with an infrared camera changes everything. Yeah, without the clouds, is not the same. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these in um, Patreon. That's why I'm exporting them. man I I think I'm gonna skip a picture and then I actually increase the shadows and see what's there and it's like okay now I remember why I took this picture so yeah okay, I'm just gonna copy and paste the shadows 
on all of these so we can just go through all of them oh man there's even more so many of them hey I want to shower I don't think I can shower with all these good pictures being taken yeah sometimes so I'm gonna wait for this to post Yeah, I, I capitalize on the fact that I live here. Oh, oh man, this is nice. Look at that. It's even got a bird. I like birds. It's a sparrow, my favorite bird. Oh. How did I miss this photo? Yeah, the, the barbed wire is not that great, but still. Yeah, man, the bird. Yeah, I love the sparrows. They have a different name in Europe, don't they? I think they call them titties or something. Uh, what's the word for them? Tits. Right, that's the word. The British call them tits. Yeah, forget I said that other word. Yeah, Brits call them tits. that I'm pretty sure I hear the guy from Digital Rev he always calls them tits ah, okay I kinda wanna google what is a tit in Britain but at the same time I don't cuz I don't know if we get some bad results Yeah, I'll just Google it later, like bird, tit, and uh, yeah. This one's nice, but not that nice. Ah, I see. Okay, okay, I get it. It's a color thing. This is okay, but not that great. This is cool. Actually, it kind of reminds me of a scene from an anime. Aha. Uh -huh. They're going to my Patreon though. Even though these pictures will not be like book material, except for the one with the bird. Let's go to Patreon. Ah, I see. It's one of these pictures. The sun was right here. It makes it difficult to uh, shoot this direction without getting sun flare. But somehow I managed. So, you use infrared, you lose a little bit of contrast. Okay, I need to, I need to keep that. Oh, the dehaze feature actually works really nice here. We saved the photo. Like that. Okay, this one's going to get exported. <laughs> Oh yeah, the dehaze, this thing. I think seven is the sweet spot. Yeah, this day the clouds are amazing. That's why I went out to shoot. Oh 
Oh man, this one's good too. <laughs> Whew. How do we do? Okay, maybe went a little bit crazy with the haze over here. No, it's just fine. Yeah, this this does look like an anime scene, I think. Uh, it needs a little bit of contrast, but not too much, just around here. Like that, just a little bit of contrast. I'll leave this one like that, alone. And uh, you can see the vibrance and the saturation are jacked up because when you shoot these photos, you lose a lot of contrast. Yeah, it's got all the elements of a good landscape photo. It's got a foreground, midground, background, sky, plus this is a hill. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good photo. If I had like somebody here, it'd be like perfect. I'll have to go back. But clouds like these, you get them like once a year. Yeah, you don't get these kind of things often. This one's okay, but mm, yeah, it's got the tower, but well, I guess it could work. I'm not sure. Oh, hi. Yes, thank you for finding my channel. Um, as you can see, we tend to focus on the arts of photography. I should change my name to that, but I'm pretty sure somebody else already has it. <laughs> right? Although, we live up to the name of anime photography, though. That's my thing. Okay, let's see. Increase the contrast, maybe a little bit more, but not globally, because then that just ruins the photo. Here we go. I like that. I like that very much. It's hard to mess with the sky, because it's kind of a blur, but we can leave it like this. Anime and cyberpunk, right? Yes. Mm, no, not that one. <laughs> this one's a little too messy for me. Okay, not that one. Yeah, that's that's what I'm all about. Actually, I like this a lot. Because uh, Korean roofs tend to have a bunch of these, like uh, clothes to dry in. I don't know what body is, but man, these are really hot socks to be using during the summer. Yeah, I like this. We also have the option of uh, going cinematic-ish. And just, just for the sake, oh, oh, that looks nice. <laughs> that looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really good. I mean, I like the other one, but this is, this is like a, a banner I can use on Twitter or something. Yeah, let's, uh, let's use a little bit of that contrast. Yeah, if you guys would like to know more about the infrared stuff, yeah, for the new viewers, this is a Buddhist swastika, and that's the Nazi swastika. Okay, don't confuse them, because Korea has a bunch of these. Okay, I have a video on infrared. It's called the Complete Guide to Infrared Photography and Full Spectrum. Uh, it will tell you everything you need to know, and of course, I have lots of editing videos. Tons of them. Yeah. Anyways. 
Actually, yes, I have. Uh, I even made videos about it. No, it's not that one. Here we go, mixing fantasy and reality. Full spectrum and hot mirror cultures. Check it out. Do not be disappointed. Yeah, I think Matthew is like the only other one who's actually edited photos. Compared to everyone else. They just leave their pictures red. Okay, this is really cool. So I'm gonna export it and then I'm gonna export the other one also okay let's see I'm gonna, I'm gonna export the full size one too because I like that one also original this is this is really good uh, from a Korean perspective like someone living in Korea for a long time can tell you this this invokes so much feeling So It's not a I mean it's a good picture in terms of com composition and all that stuff but for people living here it was a real good photo in uh, hitting you in the feels Oh man, I really want to edit all these photos, but we gotta shower soon. Where am I? Oh yeah, I have to make a video on how to hyperlapse. I've been I've been meaning to do a video on that, but I don't I don't have anyone to help me, you know, I can't do anything by myself. But if you're into time lapses check out my time lapse videos this one specifically um, like I said last time I would click on it but you know YouTube would copyright strike myself if I did that because they're YouTube I don't know anyways check this out you'll be amazed and YouTube makes everything hard I just thought this looked cool. Uh, these are with a full spectrum camera or with an infrared camera. You can actually find a complete guide. Infrared. Uh, this video, infrared and full spectrum photography complete guide. Uh, it's not it's not a filter, it's not a Photoshop, even though you do need Photoshop. It's a, you actually need either the Hoya R72 filter, which is going to give you kind of desaturated colors like this. Not as colorful, but you can do some pink out of it. And if you want to do really pink stuff, you need a converted camera, otherwise it's not possible. Yeah, this with a full spectrum camera with a 590 filter. So you're not gonna get it with a regular one. Everything comes out pink. I didn't like this wire though. I mean, it's kind of cool, but also not. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta get out there and explore. I mean, look at these clouds. They're awesome. Yeah, don't be afraid to uh, crop. I know there's a lot of terrors out there. Crop is cheating. Nah, just enjoy. This building was like falling apart. I like coming here. Oh 
Like, I took this picture just because of all the bikes. This one's even hanging from up here. It's hanging from the wires. What the? That's dangerous, man. Why would they do that? It's hanging from the cables. It's a high fire hazard. No, this is an action. You actually get a, gotta get a camera converted to shoot infrared. You can use the filter, but like I said, you're only gonna get these kind of uh, colors. I mean, they're less saturated. You can get little pink out of them, but not as much as the other one. You know, is this my picture? Oh no, it's somebody else's. Okay. Used to do a lot of full uh, infrared landscapes back in the day. I like the ray of light, but I don't like the car. I don't like cars in my photos, you know. I don't know. I'm weird like that. I do kind of like this one though. Uh, mine's a. F this one's a full spectrum mod with an infrared filter. Basically. If you have full spectrum, you can change the filters to different uh, wavelengths from 590, 720, so on. But if you get a infrared camera converted, it's stuck at one uh, wavelength. You gotta choose which wavelength you want it to stay at. Um, my streaming is kind of hectic. Like I don't really plan this. It's more like, well, I finished all the housework. I finished all the cooking. I, I did everything I had to do, now I have some time to stream. So it's kind of like that. Unfortunately, like, I know it'd be better if I had like a set time, but unfortunately my life doesn't allow so much. Yeah, at this point the sun is going down, so it's getting harder to take uh, the kind of pictures I want to take. Still is cool. Export. Yeah, you want to take these pictures in the middle of the day. You don't want to take them like around sundown. This one's okay, but not that okay. This one's kind of cool, you know. Look at the vines going up to the church. I think we like this one more. We might even go with one by one. Yeah, that's good. And do a little photography stuff with the root of thirds, even though I'm not really into that. But bam. Yeah, this one's cool. This is really kind of rad. Actually, I like that one also. It just, it's getting darker as the sun goes down, so it gets harder and harder to shoot. Especially with all these hard shadows. Maybe it's just the alleyways, that kind of difficult to work with. You, gotta, you see I gotta keep increasing the exposure every time. That, that would be cool in like one by one. Yeah, it's okay. Not really post worthy though, but okay. Yeah, I don't like I don't like increasing the exposure like this. But oh well. It's 
to and this is why you shoot in the middle of the day all right you just oh yeah edit these are like tiff files i think i think yeah these were some crazy cables anyways i think we are pretty much oh no, we're not done okay yeah we have a lot more but i need to shower so let me just edit this one Yeah, I think we'll leave it like this. I like these things. Little Buddha lanterns. Buddhist birthday lanterns. Alright. Y'all have a nice day or night. It's time for me to go. Thanks for watching my photography stream. You know, if you wanna if you're interested in, in infrared and full spectrum stuff, watch this video first. Explains everything. Oh no, copyright strike. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. All right. And uh yeah, see you around. Bye.